Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Heavenly Parent Holy Community Oceania Hundake, today being Anchil with Reverend Ito, Monday the 6th of December or the 3rd of November. So let's begin by offering a bow to our Heavenly Parents and True Parents, Chariot, Kyumbe, Paro. And let's recite our family pledge, both in Korean and English. Thank you. Kajom men se i Cholnikuk chuin uri kajogun cham sarangul chun shimago Hanil pumonim gua cham pumonimul mosio Chonjue tepe tok kajo in temeo Chun shim tok kajo in teo Kajo esnen hyoja Kuka esnen chun shin Sege esnen soin Chonjue esnen sonjae kajo e doril Family pledge number two. Our family, the owner of Chongulguk, pledges to represent to become central to heaven and earth by attending the heavenly parent and true parents. We pledge to perfect the dutiful family way of filial sons and daughters in our family, patriots in our nation, saints in the world, and divine sons and daughters in heaven and on earth by centering on true love. <clears throat> I'd like to ask uh, Doug if you could offer the open prayer, please. Good morning, Heavenly Parents and True Parents. Heavenly Parent, through True Mother's um, memoirs, we have uh, watched and observed history's march to find a nation. Father, that is uh, noble, honorable, patriotic, and saintly. Today, Heavenly Father, we come before you, having seen the fruit of true parents' lives with our own eyes, to celebrate and commemorate the 30th anniversary of our true father's meeting for the restoration of the elder sonship father in meeting with Kim Il-sung of North Korea. Restoring the brotherhood heavenly father is a large part of father stepping toward becoming uh, absolute fulfillment. And it was 30 years ago that they were able to um, make this great change uh, for the world foretelling of the change of leadership and heavenly parent we are so happy to have witnessed this to have studied it father we see now that the unification of north and south korea based on that will take place it's it, it is inevitable and father today is the celebration on december 6th father of that most amazing uh, victory brought forth under incredible unimaginable suffering that true father in, in, in the word. Heavenly Father, between uh, this day and February, Father, toward the end of February and the approaching of uh, March 1st, Father of 2022, so many things will happen. We pray that you can um, be with us in our heart, in our mind, and please help us to have absolute faith, absolute love, absolute obedience, and uh, true integral unity, Father, between us as brothers and sisters in this time that we can cause true parents to celebrate and to feel so comforted and happy and inspired. Father, no matter what we go through with the challenges of governments doing this and that, Father, these governments are passing and the building of your ideal nation upon this earth is upon us and we are going to watch it happen with the grace of God. Please be with each one of us um, and true, truly please be with true mother on this earth as she uh, faces all the circumstances necessary for this to happen. We are witnessing uh, something so great, so amazing. It's never happened before in human history, Father. And uh, we thank you. We thank you for God. We thank you for, for being our 
our God and true parent, and we thank you for the true parents of heaven, earth, and all humankind. We report this name of Douglas Mary and Carlos Moriarty, bless and true family. Adieu. Adieu. Thank you, everyone. And uh, let's give a warm welcome to Reverend Carr as he shares with us this morning. Thank you. Good morning for all leaders and the members of Oceania. I'm so appreciate this occasion to share with you. And our every day we hear the the Kundoke through the Reverend Yuta Kayamada, but through Mother's autobiography. And also the yesterday was amazing, great victory for the prayer uh, convocation with all the leaders, the Kora White, the amazing uh, message, and as well as many religious uh, denomination leaders and the share amazing uh, for the reunification of the Korean Peninsula and the national level restoration and the worldwide level. And today I want to share through my experience and uh, already I have many testimonials done. So this time uh, my inspiration before I go to the mission here, I read um, the Samuel uh, Old Testament about the United Kingdom of Israel. And uh, this makes very uh, meaningful for my mission to take care of one nation, for restoration on national level. Now we come to a more higher level for reunification of the Korean Peninsula, restoration one nation. So I just uh, uh, share with you in the title of the turning point of the faith. Uh, let's share. In our life of faith, you know, that for myself, you know, I joined the uh, 1970 uh, in the cup in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, before joining a church, I'm a searching for truth, but uh, wondering dif different kind of a, a church and the Buddhist temple and the Shintoist, and also some reading and the philosopher, especially uh, I'm influenced by philosopher of ex existentialist, the rather Cain type, like a Rune Descartes or a Kierkegaard or a Dostoevsky and or a uh, even uh, Friedrich Wilhelm Nietzsche, or something like uh, you know the will for the power, which Hitler loved, you know, <laughs> and those kind of uh, you know Kain type philosopher. But I was completely struck and very isolated in the in the dark uh, side, you know. And I start read Bible. Then I met the family, and here divine principle. I was saved by the you know family. Uh, level like a, a home so-called we said home you know the members are living together you know and share many things this saved saved me and uh, just make you know great uh, hope and uh, during my uh, cup time i read bible especially and uh, pray a lot and uh, but at the time i don't know what was going on i don't have any experience any inspiration so much, any dream so much. But uh, when I received a mission in 1975 through through father for the uh, Africa, Burkina Faso. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's a, we have a different turning point of our life of faith. You know, for example, for me, and after joining the family, the yeah, divine principle and the soul uh, our church found so called form situation. There's also one changing. And also go to the mission field in Africa, the another change. So uh, we, we see like a six kind of factors or the uh, turning point of faith first by hearing God's word, like a Bible, divine principle. And also when I hear divine principle, what well, I hear through Father's speech, what? Well, Direct substance in need to parents, you know, and also as an experience in the directory in the when went to Africa, meet African people and the uh, different leaders there. And also this makes something you know, stimulated. And also uh, uh, when a lot of, when we pray, we receive some, some kind of inspiration spiritually. 
uh, also well, of course we need daily devotion prayer and something sometimes we did count, uh, 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 fast or special you know, prayer meeting prayer to the holy gram etc and uh, through from my my case so i'm awakened by bible uh, verse uh, so special special old testament uh for Samuel passage 15 a prophet Samuel anointed Saul to be first king of Israel and uh, then later God rejected Saul to be king of Israel as he did not follow God's order so to be case of King David and also King Solomon uh, you know they also in the end uh, some mistake uh, is that King Solomon also nation dividing to north and south? Mm -hmm. Then uh, this is the Bible uh, divine principle explication. So we see uh, the Bible verse of Samuel, one Samuel fifteen. Then Samuel said to Saul, "I was the one the Lord sent to anoint you as king over his people Israel." Then the Lord's message came to Samuel, "I regret." that I have made Saul king, for he has turned away from me and has not done what I told him to do. Samuel became angry and he cried out to the Lord all the night. Then Samuel said, does the Lord take pleasure in bound offering and sacrifice as much as he does in obedience? Certainly, obedience is better than sacrifice. Paying attention is better than the cut of ram. For rebellion is like the sin of divi divi divination, and presumption is like the evil of idolatry. Because you have rejected the Lord's order, He has rejected you from being king. So, King Saul, in at the time, like you see that this map, this is a United Kingdom, is something like this. At the time, not yet divided. Then, you know, uh, after Saul, David is a musician, a musical assistant of uh, Saul, become a next king. Now we see the, the divine principle explication. In the period of the United Kingdom, the kingdom established the kingdom of Israel around the temple, thereby manifest manifesting idea of Moses' tabernacle, which was the first conceived at the time of Exodus. This was the image course for building the kingdom of heaven ruled by Jesus, which he would, would one day come to establish the kings of kings. Likewise, in the period of the Christian empire, Charlemagne empire realized the idea of the Christian state as set down in the city of God by St. Augustine, who lived when the Christian had just been liberated from the oppression of the Roman Empire, a time parallel to, to that of the Moses. Once again, this was the image course for building the kingdom of God, which Christ as the king of king will one day return to establish accordingly in the period the emperor and the pope were to realize uh, ideal Christian state by uniting who all heartedly to follow the will of God. Spiritual kingdom ruled by the people which had been founded upon the spiritual foundation for the Messiah and the temporal kingdom ruled by the emperor should have united based on Christ's teaching. As they done so, religion, politics, and economy would have harmonized and the foundation for the second advent of Christ would have been established at that time. In the period of the United Kingdom of Israel, the king was the center figure for the rest restoring the foundation of faith. He was responsible to carry out the word of God, which was given through the prophet. Before the king was anointed, the prophet and the high priest were to represent and teach the word of God. And thus they stood in the position of Abel. The mission 
uh, as a ruler uh, required by the providence of restoration was to restore the physical world from the position of the archangel. Representing the spirit world, however, as they lay the foundation upon which the king could stand and anointed and blessed him as a king, they were to take the role of a king before him. The king was to rule his kingdom according to the guidance of the prophet. And the prophet were to obey the king as his object and counselors. About 800 years after the Abraham's descendant entered Egypt, by God's command, the prophet Samuel anointed Saul as the first king of Israel. King Saul stood upon the foundation of the 400 years under the judge. Had he completed the 40 years of his reign in accordance with God's desire, he would have stood in the position of having restoring through the indemnity the 400 years of slavery in Egypt and Moses 40 years in the Pharaoh's palace. Thereupon, King Saul would have fulfilled the dispensation of 40 of the separation of Satan and the raise the foundation of faith. If upon this foundation, King Saul had built the exalted the temple, the image of the Messiah, he would have then stood in the position Moses should have occupied had he not failed in the first nation co national cause to restore Canaan, but had built the temple in Canaan and glorified it. If the Israelite had then stood upon this foundation of faith and faithfully followed King Saul as he honored the temple, they would have laid the foundation of substance. The foundation for the Messiah would have been established at that time. However, because King Saul disobeyed the the command of God given through the prophet Samuel. He, he was in the position to build the temple. Upon this failure, King Saul found himself in the same position with Moses after the, uh, he had failed in the first national cause to restore Canaan. As was the case with Moses, the problems of restoration, King Saul was extended. 40 years of King David's reign and 40 years of King Solomon's reign would pass before the foundation of faith was laid and the temple built. Furthermore, uh, we discussed earlier, King Saul was also in the person of Abraham, in the same manner that we and we entrusted. Abraham was finally brought to pass through the Isaac and the Jacob. God's will to build the temple through King Saul had to be continued through the reign of King David and of the finally realized during the reign of King Solomon. Nevertheless, King Solomon left the position of Abel for the substance offering when he fell into with his uh, many foreign wives who turned him away for God. Hence, there was no way for Israel to establish the foundation of substance, the foundation for the Messiah, which should have been laid in the period of the United Kingdom was not realized. So like this, uh, Israel finally, after Solomon, Israel dividing North and South, just like uh, uh, North and South Korea divided, and they are different way. And North is Cain and South is Abel. And the North and 10, uh, lost the 10 tribe, they, they, they disappear in the history. And the South Judah continue Israel until the Jesus time. So through my experience, you know, the God is working, living uh, through our uh, mission field that I felt I didn't know anything about, you know, because I'm uh, originally not Christian and uh, not even Buddhist, you know, the, the family is Buddhist, and uh, in Japan is Shintoism. Uh, but uh, myself, I'm, uh, you know, just myself, you know, searching for truth and uh, reading the different books, influenced by a Japanese writer, you know, at the time, my age, 1970s, you know, that just after, you know, the uh, hippie era and uh, 
you know, the famous, you know, Lok, Lokun, you know, stars era, and the influence of, you know, uh, um, Yukio Mishima, you know, he was a suicide, you know, Harakiri suicide, and uh, he, he, he was, you know, the, he loved, you know, Nietzsche and Hitler, like something like this, but uh, uh, finally to suicide and, uh, you know, and uh, my university student, same student, you know, the, the also joined the same group, Tatenokai, the group, and uh, he made chop his head. <laughs> and at the time, you know, I was uh, just joined the Unification Church, but I went to his, his funeral service, you know, <laughs> at the time, just left the church. <laughs> I was, you know, not yet pretty well. Anyway, uh, you know, my experience, you know, the after just go to the mission field, you know, uh, I met different president. You know, God make us like uh, to meet president it means I'm not myself. I feel that I'm like a summer position. God put me in the summer position, like a, you know, true pants uh, representative. Uh, the father said, "This is like a heavenly secret agent, you know, and the guide guiding us to meet uh, somebody who is a candidate of the president who uh, president himself." You know. So in the Burkina Faso, I met all the president, even the founding president. This you say, Maurice Yameogo. Uh, this is the founding president, and I met him, you know, and he was a Christian. And he was educated in the Gore Island when True Mother uh, went visited there. There is a slave place, you know, a collecting slave, slave and the shifting slave. But at the same time, this is a Catholic important seminary to educate a founding president, including this Maurice Yameogo, the first president also. And the next, uh, 1966, he was uh, the uh, despair because of his uh, some scandal and Sangre Ramizana and some uh, army general, his uh, Islam. Now, the Catholic to Islam, Islam president, he ruled a long time, but his time was finished, 1981. This say zero, this president was uh, very much, we know him. And he's a Christian, everybody very happy but he uh, only his time continue only one or two years. And after what happened, this is a young group of leftist uh, movement to inspire. So Dr. Jambatis Wedogo, he was at the time uh, army medicine and he become a first president, but uh, at the time uh, that the uh, new revolutionary, but he's not completely left side. But after he was, uh, uh, replaced by another Thomas Sankara, he made another creator, his number two position, but he made creator. He become a real leftist, uh, even name change from Otto Volta to Burkina Faso, and completely uh, it all, all flag change, and they all, you know, in the, they said a uh, French uh, imperialist made this name, so we change our own name, make Burkina Faso. Uh, breaking a thousand means two languages together, people of integrity. And uh, also the flag also changed, everything changed. And Thomas Sankara is a very revolutionary. He was originally Catholic family, but he asked many questions to Catholic priests, but no answer. He, so he turned to the leftist, you know. Uh, and uh, after he became a president, he, he visited the Cuba, uh, and uh, Castro and the North Korea North, and Kim Il Sung and go to Soviet Union and also finally visited and Libya Gaddafi and came back. And uh, amazingly, this person uh, uh, attend our uh, our center and he studied the Prime Principle. <laughs> He's a communist person, but uh, he put the Divine Principle aside and he using in his speech the Prime Principle book. You know, amazing. So in such a way, you know, God is something to prepare, even midst of Satan's domini domination, just like Moses, you know, and uh, uh, then 
And he was uh, killed by Blaise Compaoré. This is also number two of the Thomas Sankara and became president. That his rule was wrong. He changed from uh, the leftist to the uh, uh, more uh, like a middle side. And finally, father met him, President Blaise Compaoré. He was, uh, you know, the army, but uh, he tried to change uh, nation to the more uh, middle way and the uh, democratic side way. But he's still like a kind of a dictator. But uh, when father came uh, to uh, 1995, the end of my mission, 21 years, and uh, Brez Kompare welcome to parents. And when father met him, father uh, put his stomach and hitting his stomach, you should have guts, you know, <laughs> like I blessed him. And after what happened, like a father blessed him, you know, he become a chairman of uh, African Union, you know, like a influential person to all of Africa. If he really educated well by us, he could more rule influence all of Africa. At that time, Africa can come to two pan side. He said at the time, you know, father said, I want to invite you to come to the New York to, to join, you know, to him. He said, very humble, he's a very humble man, very, you know, and the French way of speaking, African way of speaking, you know, just means, yes, I want, you know, but he didn't say uh, directly. Yeah, but his mean is, he, yes, he I want to attend, but African translator, his, the Korean, an African translator, you know, didn't translate it, this one. Anyway, uh, this is, uh, you know, Brez uh, Compare, uh, just uh, before I left, he was there. And even after I left, still he continued president. And uh, after he left, now a democratic countries, but many terrorists coming from the uh, desert side. So on, on the national crisis time, you know, what we did, because the nation become a, like a socialist country, communist dictatorship. So we are the anti-communists, they watch us. But president is our friend. They, they watch us, but didn't do anything. But we couldn't do in something, you know, by, more radically. But what we did, we need our own uh, membership more strong. So I continue I did 21 day workshop continuously and send them to the pioneer. Yeah. So this make more uh, secure us and um, our member uh, go to temporary exit to the uh, neighbor country like Ivory Coast and a few months and came back. So this is uh, the 19, uh, 2019. When I went to Burkina Faso, uh, we blessed the, the former president, Jean Baptiste Wedalgo. Yeah. He was the commandant uh, of the army of, as a medical. Now he has a clinic, he is a clinic doctor. He has a, some Notre Dame, you know, a Catholic uh, uh, clinic doctor. He's very happy. And also, this is a parliament member. Uh, as very uh, happy to us and uh, impressed he and his wife together and uh, uh, his, his home. My son, Noriaki no born in Burkina Faso, also visited there. And our uh, also members, uh, church leaders, national leaders, wife of there together, with my wife together. Now we come to the Marshall Island. In Marshall and also, you know, I met all the president, you know, Amata Kabua. Before I went, he passed away, but I met in the Federation of Island Nations for World Peace in Tokyo, 1996. Uh, Amata Kabua is amazing president in the, you know, the Palau FSM Marshall Island before the independence. Those three nations was a uh, you know, uh, the, like one country. And the capital city is, is Saipan. So, and Amata Kaba is, 
in the, in the first president of the joint country of uh, U.S. trust territory. But he passed away. Uh, then Imata Kabua, and uh, then final uh, Keizai note. He is a really amazing. He attended Kurum Mazad's speech tour, uh, 1999, before he became president with uh, uh, another uh, parliament member together. And he was very much uh, inspired by Kurum Mazad's speech. Then uh, he was amazed, attended IIFWP series of uh, our conference in the, uh, Washington, D.C., and he became uh, uh, elected and president. And that year, year 2000, finally, father came and uh, amazing uh, meeting that I already experienced. And he became a still continue uh, with Oceania. Then we took a domain. Uh, because of he was a, he was a uh, the speaker at the time, and the father's second tour could have done in the parliament because the Tokyo domain was at the time speaker. Then he became a president. And Christopher Rack, he, he was a president at the time. Uh, father the, uh, passed away, soon was ceremony. And it took a domain, uh, Chris, Christopher Rack came to visit our peace embassy. Even he made condolence. Current president came, made amazingly condolence to the father. At the time, Keizai Note attended in Korea uh, to father's uh, Sunwa ceremony. Then Christopher Wack and his wife attend World Summit 2020 uh, together with the other vice president. Then President Dezukaya, Gaston and, uh, and his Haine, and uh, today David Kabua. Uh, he is the son of founding president Amata Kabua, third son. This is a uh, Christopher Wright, his wife together uh, with uh, Mr. Uh, Phil Philip, uh, Jim Phil together uh, who attended IAPD. Uh, sorry, and I'm uh, no time so much. The another experience, you know, for the turning point is to uh, father's world and the true family, you know. The first, I'm very closest to uh, meeting is the uh, when we received mission from true father in the headquarter church in Tokyo, 1995, 1975. And the father said, you know, uh, your mission will be dramatically change your destiny. Yeah, human destiny is interesting by this mission, dramatically change, yes, because of my mission, and I still become a missionary, you know, uh, since that time. And uh, 1979, uh, I have a special occasion to go to New York to make a report to Reverend Clark at the time, the first, uh, first president of the uh, World Mission Department. And uh, so I went to uh, New York for the first time. The same time I visited a uh, uh, theological seminar. And uh, together, Mr. Yoshida, at the time, the secretary of uh, Eden Kwak, he said, oh, father was here. He said, oh, really? So I want to see father. So I went come down to the uh, Hudson River, you know, the, like a seminarist and the father together they make like a picnic on the riverside. And I saw father and mother sitting uh, on the rock in the, in the river. At the time of April, but still cold. Something like a prayer condition father making, but the same student is like, like hanging around and the eating lunch, etc. Then I'm waiting the Leader David King introduced me to, you know, if I can introduce myself to father. Then father now moving together with mother, and the father is now coming up from the from, from the bank to the to the car side, you know, 
this is a small, small road, you know, to climb up from the river uh, to the bank. And I don't know why, I'm followed the father, you know, <laughs> what power make me, you know, I follow the father. And uh, like, a, like a four meter distance, like this distance, I call father, you know, from the behind, you know, amazingly, father, father, a little bit turn and look me an unknown person. So father again, continue to, to go up. I say, father, again, I call amazingly, you know, and the father time, and I introduced, I am a missionary to Africa, and like this, you know. And, and the father said, you learn a lot, isn't it? Doesn't it like this? You learn a lot. I said, yes. Then father continued to burn. Then later in the car side, now David came, introduced me. This guy is a missionary from Burkina Faso. And uh, now come to for the port to come to New York like this. So father is a really principal person, you know. Father is now not the time of the moment of the meeting, you know, something, you know. You 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 get permission and come here. <laughs> yes, I may get permission from the Grand Card World Mission Department like this. Then and uh, something mother talked to the father, and the father put from pocket something counting and give me by left hand and that was a US dollar you know I think six hundred dollars something like that you know and by this uh, they became translate you should buy your suits and wear like a missionary <laughs> like that maybe my way was very you know dirty and maybe humble like this. so this is my first amazing personal meeting with your father and the father gave me with the left hand and I, I started up. Ah, left hand is so suddenly, and not official. When suddenly some expensive with left hand. And if officially you give with right hand, you know, I just learned father is a really man of principle. One of, you know, asking me that you get permission, you know, then give me with left hand. This is a, you know, not willingly, you know, suddenly came and uh, that's why using left hand. Uh, then 1980, the next year, sixth anniversary, first world missionary in assembly, in February. And at the time, father told the missionary, you know, you must have a testimony how you love, could have loved one person, not many. This is also amazing, also a awakening point. The father not wait, waiting that how many member you got like this, not such an external result, more internally, how we spend time and energy, sincerity to uh, approach to, to love one person. This is the main issue yeah, for other missionaries. And then uh, I, my wife just come and I join and I start family in New York Hotel. You know, I started family in New York Hotel so all the other missionary and the left, the some, you know, after this is a, we have 40 days workshop, you know, attended. And after 40 days workshop finish, almost many missionary left, but I still stay because I start family with my wife, you know. Then suddenly some call coming, you know, he told, please come. What? Because Rebian Kiamoshi of Zaire, you know, father called him to East Garden, US, French speaking country, so you, uh, you, uh, you translate father, really? <laughs> and I was called to the East Garden. You know. Before go to East Garden, I waited in uh, Belvedere and uh, waited the call in coming. And uh, at the time I pray a lot because for the first time I go to East Garden and uh, even translate to father, amazing. Then that evening, dinner, Deban Kiamoshi uh, of Zaire and came and uh, we made uh, dinner and the father have a question, you know, uh, in Zaire we had this, this kind of fish there, you know, I don't know the name of the French name of that fish. <laughs> I said very simple, you know, translation and, uh, uh, to, to the father. The father asked me by Japanese, you know, say, I, I translate the French to the 
for the pasta. Then after finish eating and coffee time, Pastor now start speaking divine principle. Amazing. So I saw how Father love educate VIPs. After coffee time, just coffee time, Father speaking, you know, completely principle, like a creation, fall, and the restoration. Yeah, something. And uh, divine principle and French, I already have experience, so I could have uh, translate, you know. But other daily things, I couldn't, sometimes I couldn't translate, but you know, my way translate. Him. And after I finish, the father said, because the father originally called Kimbangist. At that time, uh, Kimbangu was uh, one of the biggest movement in Africa, spiritual movement. And uh, I contacted our movement, you know, and the father called the president of uh, the Kimbangu, Joseph Kimbangu. But he didn't come, and uh, he chosen his branch uh, church's pastor, Evan Kiyomoshi. And the father said, "Yeah, this guy is uh, Joseph Kimbangu was uh, Archangel, Archangel. So Archangel has a many. Archangel is a politic. He's a many politic. That's why he didn't come. But send you that your position is deep position, deep position. So I I tell you." Uh, through Eve, you know, like Adam, and uh, through Eve to contact Archangel this way. That's why he tried to educate Levan Kiyamoshi and give his money, or mission money, you know, and, and he gave it like sightseeing in the United States. Then, when I and my wife also, amazingly, go back to Africa together with Levan Kiyamoshi, go to France, we make a tour you know, together with Kiyamoshi to the some, you know, some Normandy area, you know, the tour. And the father gave mission to him to contact with even uh, uh, Kimbangu movement. Yeah. That's our experience. And the next day, at that time, you know, the, the father was a very difficult situation because piano was, a, was a, you know, something terrorist attack, you know, the Japanese Red Army tried to assassinate the father. So always helicopter is, up, you know, coming and uh, and uh, sometime, you know, uh, piano under the piano was ex bomb exploded. So father couldn't go to, you know, to, to shopping. You know, the next day, father want to bring Levan Kiyomoshi go to shopping. So father couldn't go. Father said, I'm sorry, I cannot go, but true mother go. So true mother together. Now I translate true mother together, you know, amazingly, you know, true mother and uh, go to fast, you know, like a hamburger house, then show a uh, shoe, shoes house, you know, and to choose everybody, including even myself. And finally went to the uh, famous Macy's, you know, that's New York Hotel beside Macy's, you know, like a, like a sixth floor like this, you know? And I, amazing, I stayed together with her mother six hours, you know, with the shopping, just, just beside mother. Yeah, and for Reverend Kiyamoshi and the summer, some assistant lady together. Sometimes mother asking all wife and uh, all children's age and the name, and one by one through mother both, even by using six hours, amazingly. And a little bit tired, a little bit the you know show showcase you know side, a little bit you know, sitting and uh, you know some lady mother but mother continually. Amazing. And uh, so he asked me, she asked me, where is your wife? Yeah, my wife is in New York Hotel. He just, okay, he called, called her. Oh, really? Just, we come to the basin, ba ba basement. Amazingly, my wife came in just the before the door and just met. Usually impossible, you know, six, six floor, uh, you know, big uh, department store you know, to find out. You know, and my wife has made some condition. Immediately, mother bought my wife some some clothes. You know, amazing. This I saw through mother's amazing uh, way of uh, service. One person is not one person. My whole Africa, he representing Levan Kiyomoshi. Sorry, I'm. Not, I'm not. Okay, stay. Uh, 
then uh, another uh, is uh, through get children and this garden. Now, at the time, at the time still, Hunji Nim was still alive. And sometimes our missionary went to the East Garden for the celebration. At the time, we brought the batik from Burkina Faso, batik for offering to our father. And uh, at the time, two then Hunji Nim still, Hunji uh, Nim, Hunji Nim together, you know, like, uh, and Hunji Nim put uh, our batik and uh, go, you know, like, uh, um, uh, wear, you know, batik in his, uh, you know, uh, you know, stomach area you know, like this and uh, all the gift they bring to their their room i helping them it's just a good chance to see that two children's room <laughs> i i took all the gift together and followed the two 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 children after and on the you know step in the middle of the step you know their, their room there very small tiny oh wow, so humble yeah so I really focused that's the time so humble. This another way is uh uh in the Seoul Olympic game, you know, at the time in the Seoul Olympic we are all invited to the make Olympic providence to the the fall of you know the uh bearing war in a special condition to serve to the able served the king and we brought two African members at the time. We had a meeting and at the time on uh, Kurishi, I think, uh, training center. Father together was all leader together. Father made a speech and a meeting. At the time, Unji Nim, you know, was uh, Unji Nim has a orchestra, you know, the next day, you know, so she's very nervous you know, because before he's a Olympic athlete of Korean athlete. She's very nervous, she needs some father's encouragement, but we're always together with father. Anyway, she came in and greet to father a little bit, you know, embrace, kiss and something. And she is leaving. Before leaving, she looked back at us, this, and she shouted, you always took my father by crying. So we understand. Wow. Sorry for two child. Yeah. She felt, you took always my father. So this is a reality. I saw another reality of two children who didn't receive two parents love, but all love come to us. This is really another reality that I saw. And the seven two parents meeting in President of Burkina Faso. Oh yeah, yeah, it's already. Uh, and Sao Paulo, after I become a national messiah, I went attended the Sao Paulo and headquarter. At the time, uh, national messiah gathered together. Uh, it was the time father said, I said to you, you know, in three years, always three years condition, and kept to you until today. He said, wow, 21 years, father kept us, you know, more, you know, more, than, more than 20 years kept us by saying three years like that. So this is a father's way of educating us to keep us to encourage us. And now the ninth two pens visit uh, Marshall Island two times. So father said when it comes to uh, Burkina uh, Marshall Island, father said Oceania is a part of part of Asia. He said, and he said if I stay here a couple of months, I'll be like you, like this. You know? So father really felt, you know, very similar, you know, if a little bit father stay, more face become more dark and, you know, looks like us, like an island people. So uh, we have other experience, I tried to finish and uh, uh, anyway, uh, so another, uh, you know, turning point of our phase one is in our activity PWPA in Burkina Faso, 1995, Professor World Peace Academy, before I establish, I contact Professor Dr. Akri Kuribari. This is a mathematician, mathematical. Uh, I contact him seven years continually before establish. So seven years connection. Finally, he become a, 
uh, chairman of PWPA Burkina Faso. So really, you need the time to make such a you know, PWPA key person. Yeah, he later he blessed and he passed away. He's a mathematic you know, and educated in France. And after all, uh, almost all uh, department uh, director become a member of PWPA and uh, Burkina Faso, uh, University of Burkina Faso. The French colony uh, uh, country was only one uh, national university, all countries, even Senegal, Mali, all countries. This is a French way of education. British is every state has universities, different way. So as IRF activity, we giving digging well, medical donation, which mother was a president. Then we receive award from your mother, uh, this uh, IRF activity. And the WFWP inaugural tour, uh, when I was in Russia, my wife made a 30 state tour of two mother's speech by French, you know, supported by my sons, you know. And she made the French, she, her French is better than me by this. A pioneer to Russia, and this is amazing pioneer. I saw the Soviet Union inside of communist country. Then we planning to go to North Korea, you know. You know, this is a really, you know, uh, when communist country is like a protected from the outside. So people is very pure, you know, at the time. Soviet Union also saying, uh, as it must be, North Korea must be inside. It's very pure. People is very humble, like this. And uh, fundraising in Africa, we make so many places, Niger, Mali, Ivory Coast, Togo, Benin, Nigeria. You know, in Nigeria, my wife went there and all oh, the before we, by this money, we send 30,000 couple blessing, you know, and this many did in Nigeria, different place, you know, and such as we have uh, 30 uh, or couple uh, uh, members sent to the Korea yeah. and also Europe, Italy, different part of Italy and Switzerland, we did. People come to Marshall Island, we did fundraising in Switzerland. And Oceania, and my wife comes also to Australia selling chocolate, you know, and also Hawaii, and also California, etc. Everywhere. Uh, thank you so much. Anyway, uh, uh, I made the turning point, uh, which face through this different kind of experience. And also, like a Samuel, you know, we make, we are king maker. King make, but if king need responsibility, five person respond, couldn't accomplish, problems postpone, like a David and Solomon, and even Solomon, again, dividing the north and the south, you know? So, problems are not easy, not easy, not three years finished. Yeah, but our mission as a Samuel, you know, and like find out, you know, future president, like a mother said, God prepared person. Yes, we must do like this, you know, we don't know. The later, because they are human responsibility. We cannot enter. God cannot enter that part. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Revenito. Really uh, amazing experiences you had you know, to meet every president uh, uh, of yeah you know, in in those nations. So really, you are uh, the the pioneers uh model course representative yeah, yeah. uh I, th I think there's so many stories you can still say but we've we've actually come to as as yes we went way over time but uh it's uh, really uh you're a precious person of heaven and and i think it's great that you uh had the courage to approach uh true father and that father never forgot you and always uh, you know, blessing you continuously. So we're very grateful to have you part of this region of Oceania. Uh, so I, I know we've gone over time, but if there's someone who wants to make a comment or, or, or say something, please go ahead. Otherwise we just go straight into our prayer. <laughs> Oh, oh yes no go ahead um hello good morning i just wanted to say thank you to uh reverend 
Kimichi, thank you for your effort and uh, and to put all that together. I know I can't, it's just too painful for me. <laughs> but anyway, it's, it's a great start for your uh, bio biography <laughs> or the little testimonies we we write is probably good to put it um you know in one safe place when you one day your whole book is compiled and you, yeah thank you from all of us thank you Uh, yes, Mary, go ahead. I would also like to say thank you, Reverend Ito. An amazing testimony. And you've done a wonderful job for True Parents. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. I think, uh, yeah. Because we are over time, uh, I'll just uh, uh, off uh, change the screens to our unison prayer. So uh, let's pray together. Thank you.
Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you, Reverend Ito, again. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Ito. Thank you, Reverend Ito. Great. Ito Sensei, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your sacrifices. Yeah. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone. See you, you too. Bye.